our story begins a few years ago when Catherine and I met in college back south, and we got married at the end of college, and then decided, we're Southerners. Decided to move <laughs> to Southern California to pursue our dreams of me going to law school at Pepperdine and Catherine pursuing a modeling career. And uh, during that time, we, you know, soaked up all the Southern California lifestyle that we could. We we're members at Bel Air Presbyterian Church in Los Angeles. We're directors of the Young Marrieds group there. Um, enjoyed everything. Um, about our newlywed life and uh, even had a baby along the way, sort of unexpectedly, but uh, unbelievable blessing. And on April 21st, 2008, um, our son James is about six months old at that point, and I was just a few weeks away from finishing up law school. I arrived home sort of accidentally um, at lunchtime. At that point, Catherine collapsed in our apartment in Malibu, and um, we weren't sure what was happening, but we got uh, ambulance and um, she was taken to UCLA Hospital where they discovered that she had a massive uh, bleed in her brain. And so luckily on hand was um, a neurosurgeon who specialties fit in exactly her situation, but he said very truthfully that her situation was really grave and that she probably would not make it through surgery. Catherine underwent a 16 hour brain surgery, which was supposed to be about seven hours. Um, because of the delicate nature of the pressure and um, what's called an AVM in her brain, um, this malformation that began rupturing and bleeding. Um, they had to remove over half of her cerebellum and damaged um, about seven of the nerves that control really important functions in the body. Including the facial nerve they cut. Face swallowing yeah. um, nerves that impair and control rather her walking, you know, vision, hearing. Um, so in just a few short hours, we went from living this idyllic life in Malibu, carefree and completely blessed by the Lord to uh, Catherine's life hanging by the thinnest thread imaginable. But with lots of incredible prayers being lifted up from around the world, um, Catherine, by 24 hours later after the surgery was over, began moving her fingers and toes in response to the nurse. And then the next day she opened her eyes and um, the Lord revealed every hour, every day in those coming weeks, um, his presence. And the fact that we weren't alone in this most dark valley, um, but that he was with us and that he was revealing himself to us. Catherine stayed in the ICU for 40 days. She was on um, life support. After that, she was in a neuro rehab at UCLA for two and a half months. And then uh, the Lord brought us to Pomona and Casa Kalina Hospital. What has happened to me is extreme. However, it's similar to what everyone deals with. For instance, I cannot walk, but who feels free even if they can? I messed up. My face is frozen, paralyzed. But who feels beautiful even when they look normal? I could not eat. But who feels satisfied even when they can eat? On and on and on. My voice is messed up now. I can barely speak. But who feels understood even when they can't speak? No one. So no matter the situation, I universally People feel what I am living out. They don't feel free. They don't feel satisfied. I think the Lord, um, through different phases of this past year, has really shown us, again, that He is directing this. He's in control of it. And if we'll trust Him and give our lives over to Him and fall essentially into His arms, that there's no fear um, and there's no worries that... Um, our future's uncertain, or what, you know, Captain's recovery is going to look like, or how are we going to be provided for or protected, because the Lord has again and again fulfilled those promises to us. Through the ups and downs of this past year, um, the Lord has never left us, and He's shown us Himself in so many ways, but through it all, we can still say that I bless your name. I bless your name.